I'm Faith Maber. Uh, I'm a senior researcher at the Institute for Global Dialogue, um, which is a foreign policy think tank based here in, in Pretoria, South Africa. I think I'd like to consider myself um, an R2P uh, proponent, which, which in short stands for the responsibility to protect. And I'm particularly interested in areas around um, human security issues, the foreign policy uh, of African states, um, and the general political developments around the continent. So that's where a lot of my research interests um, lie. So I think with think tanks, the main role I'd say is, is we are actually catalytic uh, bridge builders uh, between policy uh, makers on one hand, and we, we try and bring in the on the ground reality. So um, at one level, we're sort of bringing, meeting the demand for, for empirical evidence. We are bringing the empirics into the policy um, circle. We are broadening the space for public engagement and public um, dialogue. So in that sense, we're publicizing the, the evidence um, gathered. But that also feeds into the broader question of uh, credibility for, for the work that we do um, and how we are centrally located. In, in my case, we straddle the policy and the academic world. So that very delicate space in between is where we fit and, and where we try and bring in validity, rigor and methodology into the broader policy circle question. So in the context of Africa particularly, there's a shrinking space um, especially in, in context of um, fragility or context of oppression, where the shrinking space for uh, public participation, freedom of ex expression, also impacts the work that think tanks do in actually bridging the, the, the policy gap, as I mentioned. Women face very particular challenges. The first, I'd say, is overcoming um, uh, gender barriers. Uh, for instance, it can be subtle or overt um, discrimination, there's sexism, there's a lot of gender uh, um, commentary or gender commentary that goes uh, goes along even implicit in, in, in the work that we do. Um, the other one is also the fact that women um, have to do certain trade-offs. So the, their role, for instance, the, the, the intersectional role as caregivers, for instance, and their role as workers, as researchers, um, as think tankers becomes compromised when they have to do trade-offs. Either um, um, emphasize one element of work and you, 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 you fail at the work-life balance or um, attend more to your care responsibilities and, and fail more on the, on the work side. So meeting that balance has become a very a large challenge for women. But there's also segregation at, at both the vertical and the horizontal um, level because we see that in some, some fields uh, women are more incentivized to join, um, whereas in some others, for instance, so the hard sciences, the economics, economics you'll find men, but in, in something like social sciences and the other more behavioral sciences, then you find more women. Um, and, and there's that almost segregation that becomes apparent in, 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 the, in the think tank environment as well. So I think this conference has proven to be a very enriching, um, very peer-driven um, um, perspective and, and it's also solutionist in, 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 in orientation because most of the challenges that we face are common across think tanks of the global south particularly uh, but also it's 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 unique in the sense that we're not only focusing on the challenges so we're trying to also bring in innovative um, ways of looking at, at um, ways to forge ahead we're also looking at ways of fitting into the trends um, into the dynamics um, that will affect our workers think tanks and i think this conference is successful in doing that <laughs>